skeleton shirt that I found at Five Below on. I'm feeling festive and I'm ready to decorate. So we're going to do some tear tray decorating for the kitchen. And I'm going to use a lot of Dollar Tree things that I have. I recently got a new tear tray and like a little Lazy Susan thing from Home Goods. So I'm going to use those to decorate on my, I have a table in my kitchen. My kitchen's not done. My kitchen's a little bit done from, oh my gosh, I just realized you guys are gonna see that I ended up doing my kitchen before our master bathroom. I did a little bit to our master bathroom, not a whole lot. It's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. But in saying that the kitchen's a little bit done, I will have a whole kitchen like makeover kind of video. But for today, I have a little table in my kitchen that we kind of use as like an island slash table. And I want to put the Lazy Susan in the tear tray on there and decorate it for Halloween. And we're gonna do a little bit of my coffee corner. I know we're getting down to the wire with Halloween. I'm one of those that I decorate up until Halloween pretty much. I'm always like, oh well, man, a little bit of this here and a little bit of that here. Let me know, do you do that too? Or are you like, one time you do it and you're done? I kind of wish I was that person and then I could just enjoy it, but I'm not. This is the way I am. I. Just, you know, I've got it in me. I love to decorate. So I will probably keep adding and tweaking until we get to the big Halloween day. I have some Halloween ambiance playing. I also have my little Dollar Tree skeleton cup. It's not a festive drink, but it's a festive cup. So that, that, that counts, right? And then I have over here all these goodies that I might potentially use. So this is the little Lazy Susan that I was talking about that I got. And then I also got this um, tear tray, uh, from, both from Home Goods. I really freaking love them. I need better lighting. Oh, I hate when the sun goes down. Okay, we're just gonna go with this for now. Oh, I took off the tag. I think I got this from home. Like I said, I know I got this from Whole Goods. I think it was like maybe $19.99. And then this Lazy Susan that I got, I bet you the tag is still on it. Oh, it's so heavy. $34.99. So you can see right here, it has all these really pretty gold flex in it. It's so perfect, so pretty. So it was actually Lennon, my oldest daughter's idea to put this tiered tray on top. Cause at first I was just going to do this um, Lazy Susan, but then I realized I wanted to add some dimension, some height. And Lennon and I saw this and she's like, you should put this on the Lazy Susan. I'm like, that's a great idea. So props to Lennon. She has been around me decorating for a long time and she's got some, she's got some decorating sense in her. If you're not one that likes to go all out for Halloween decorating, but you want to add a little something, I think this is a great way to go ahead and add a little bit of Halloween. Let me show you what I have. Mostly everything is from the Dollar Tree or Walmart, I think. Okay, I have this little chain thing that I have from Dollar Tree. These paper plates I got this year from Walmart. How freaking cute are they? These are both from Dollar Tree. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I just pulled them out just in case. This I got from Dollar Tree last year. I'm not sure if they had it this year. This is from Dollar Tree a while ago, but I love this guy with the like dangly legs. Dollar Tree usually always has things like this. This is from Disney. It had fruit snacks in it, but I was like, I might use that. This is from Dollar Tree last year, and this year they have these ghosts, which are actually like, look at the size difference. This one's way bigger than this one. I think I saw some of these this year as well. Oh, this little guy's from Dollar Tree as well. You know, I love Dollar Tree. Um, the only thing is this, I realized, here's another one, that both of my things are broken underneath. So they're supposed to light up, but they don't. Um, but that's okay, I think they're still super cute and I could put like a little tea light under them. This I found from at Michael's on clearance. This is an old um, pumpkin from Dollar Tree. This I showed in my last Dollar Tree haul. It had Death by Candy on it. I thought it was so cute and, or spooky. I don't remember where I found this, probably Home Goods. This was from Target a while ago, but it was super inexpensive. See, $5. And it's so cute. I've used it every year for the past few years. And then these my mom got me randomly off of, I think Amazon. 
um, but I thought that they would, these would be cute to put some. My mom also found me these, this pack of sprinkles. I, I forget where she found them, but I'm gonna bake with them. But until I bake with them, I figure it'd be super cute in this little canister. And then of course, candy corn, because don't you have to have candy corn in a little candy jar somewhere for fall and Halloween? Or is it just me? I don't know. Do you like candy corn? Let me know. I found this little box at Dollar Tree um, just recently. And I love these boxes. I like to put little floral arrangements out of them or stick something in them. I also have these little witch brooms that I might use on here. I don't know. So I'm just going to play around with it, see how we can make this tear tray come to life. If you are a fan of the Marshmallow Fireside Candle at Bath & Body Works, you must, and I mean you must, run to your local Walmart. They might have it online too. This is by the Better Homes and Gardens uh, collection. They have it this shape, and then they have like a taller one. It is called Vanilla Bean Smoked Embers. Oh my gosh. This candle smells exactly like Marshmallow Fireside. I think this one was like $13, so it's kind of not that much of a better deal. But the, the other one I think is $9, the one that's a little bit taller and um, not as wide, obviously. But it's easier to access, and I do think it actually ends up being a little bit cheaper. But it is like an identical scent to the Marshmallow Fireside. So if you love that smell, to me, when I smell this, it just brings me to the fall, winter vibe, spirit, feel. I love it. I can't get enough of it. I have like five of these throughout my house. I freaking love it. I wish they came in a wax melt. They don't, unless you've seen it. Let me know if you've seen a wax melt in this. Vanilla bean smoked embers. It's very sweet, but with like a musky. It's not like super sweet, but it is sweet. But it's got that like manly scent to it too. Oh God, I can't get enough of it. Mm, 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 mm. Magnolia's home. Can you say hi? Ow. Hi. Hi. <gasps> <laughs> okay, so decorating is going to be put on hold. I was trying to get so we can screen grab it for a nice family picture. Ready? One, two, three. Magnolia, look. Magnolia. Oh my god, that has to be an epic family picture. Right. Can you say bye? Bye. Oh, can you blow kisses? Bye. Can you blow kisses? Bye. Can you blow kisses? Bye. Can you blow kisses though? Can you blow the camera kisses? Bye. Oh, so. Bye. Oh, you. You're so cute though, you're so cute. By the way, Walmart had this shirt that says, no tricks, just, just treats. treats. Just oh. treats. So cute. Get out of my shop. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, we're back. It's the next day. My mom is watching the girls. I've got like an mm, hour and a half, two hours. I realized I took for granted how much time I had to decorate for the holidays before I had a baby. Uh, because I just like I really don't remember when Lennon was that little and trying to decorate um, And obviously like when Lennon started school that was always a prime time that I could decorate well now that Magnolia is here all the time um, Yeah, she's not really into uh, letting me decorate. She would rather decorate herself and just put things everywhere um, So let's get to decorating this tear tray. We've got all the things it killed me to leave this all here I found this hocus pocus um, light up a mantle scarf. I thought this could be perfect. I have this mantle. It's like a, I guess they used to, it used to be, um, there's like an outlet down there. So I think that they used to, oh my gosh, I got to turn on my Halloween ambiance for today. It was on the Magnolia was watching something. Anyways, so I just have this little like pumpkin set up. Magnolia moved it all around today. I have to paint this, but I'm not sure what color I want to paint it yet. So I thought the little scarf thing maybe could hang down here and make it look festive until I get it painted. So we'll try and hang that and see how that looks too. Halloween ambiance. Hmm, what do we want? What do we want? I love this one, it's super cute. I love this little Halloween music. Not a cute one.
little bit of moss. I got this moss from um, my family's garden shop. It's just real Spanish moss and some random, what are these called, leaves in there. But I thought maybe, maybe to add a little bit of spookiness to it. Oh, I also have to fix this bird. This bird has this like little white mark on him. I need to get a permanent marker and cover that. try and put up this light up mantle scarf. I think it's gonna look really cute. I hope it looks cute. It seems, how much was it? I think it was like 14, 14.99. So not super expensive, also not super cheap. <laughs> these little Dollar Tree ones that I found this year. How freaking cute are these? I showed those in my um, Dollar Tree haul that I did. This one's craft, but it's hidden so it's okay. I got some orange lights. Uh, little twinkle lights, but the problem with these, um, they don't have a timer or a remote, so I didn't realize that when I got them. So I, I ordered some new ones that have a little remote. Let's try and put this scarf on, shall we? Still got the ambience on. It says it takes two AA batteries because it lights up. Oh gosh. Okay, so you have to attach the lights underneath. Oh. Okay, so the picture has the lights just like strung behind. Okay, okay. So maybe I should do the lights. Look, it's so sad. Oh. <laughs> Think I can glue that back together? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. New. Oh man, I'm so bummed. You know you can't find these at Dollar Tree anymore. I saw it falling, and I sure hope it was gonna survive, but I knew deep down there was no way. It was like slow motion as I watched it fall to the ground and crash. Okay, I have these little skulls that I got at Dollar Tree this year that have little gold spiders on them. They're a little spot for a tea light, but maybe I'll do the black, keep the boo in the middle, do the black right there. Gun. When we had them professionals hang this TV, I had them hang it just a smidge too low. But 
we're eventually gonna get a different TV. I really wanna get the frame TV for right here. So I'm gonna have the TV be just a little bit smaller. Cause honestly, this TV is just a bit big for this space, but it'll work for now. But once I get the frame TV, I'm gonna have it A, be a little bit smaller and lift it just a little bit. So I have a little bit more room to decorate under here. But for now, we are making it work. All right, how's she look? Not so bad. here that I have that I think that will work for this coffee corner. I also have some boxes right outside on my deck that I can pull from if we need some more stuff. So, Carlos is helping me with a reel back there where of the tear tray that you just saw. Um, follow my Instagram if you haven't. I'm trying to do reels more often, um, but so far I've only done two, three. I don't know. Anyways, so let's bring this coffee corner to life. This little area right here also we're going to work with. Um, I'm eventually gonna do something to this and like change out the tile or paint this tile. But for now, we're just going to decorate this little windowsill and then this is my little coffee corner. So let's pull this together. Okay, here's some of the things that I have. This is all like, I. Target Dollar Spot probably and Dollar Tree. I think maybe I'm gonna put some moss in here. And um, okay, so I have over here, this is what we keep our sugar in. Oh, I forgot I was gonna get another one of these little containers or whatever these are called. I always put cinnamon in my coffee and for this time of year, I've been adding pumpkin spice to my coffee as well. Um, so I was going to change this out. Maybe I'll just take off this little label. I don't have a different um, container for my sugar or we have coffee in here. So I think I'm just gonna keep that and kind of redo the setup. This is a candle that I got from Walmart. It's a fall farmhouse, but I'll tell you, it's not very good. Hardly, I mean, it smells good when you smell it, but when you light it, you can hardly smell anything. This I had some herbs in, all my herbs died. So eventually I wanna get something different here anyways. Like I said, I wanna change all this. All right, let's pull this together. <laughs> 